Hey everyone, I'm making a tutorial today on how to make a spotlight effect. And what I mean by that is if you go to a concert and you see the spotlights with the fog and all that cool looking stuff, I teach you how to do that on Photoshop and then you could add it to any photo of a band or whatever to make it look like you're on stage. What you want to do is open up Photoshop CS4, go to File, New, and you want to make your document, um, the width maybe 500 and the height 800, that's what I have it on and it works pretty good. Hit OK. Now, you don't want the background to be white. You want it to be black. So I go to the paint bucket tool and make sure this is on its default colors, black and white, and just make that black. Now what you want to do is create a new layer. You can either go to layer up here and go to new layer, or you can just click the create layer button down here in this panel. Now what you're going to do is go to the marquee tool, and you want to put it on the rectangular one. And what you're going to do, you're just going to draw something about that size. That's good. Hit Control Delete on your keyboard, and it's going to make it white. Hit Deselect. And what you want to do is hit Q on your keyboard, and that's going to bring you into the quick mask mode. Now that needs to be hit, otherwise it won't work. Now what you want to do is go to the gradient tool. And you will draw a line right up the middle of this white box we have here. Make sure it's straight. And you're going to get this. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the color green. It'll do whatever it's the default is. I have green, but it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so you're going to do that and you're going to hit Q. And this is what's going to happen. So now you want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to bring it to a 30 pixels. Hit OK. Alright, and you want to hit Enter. Nope, you don't want to hit Enter. <laughs> um, you want to just deselect out of that. And then you're going to go to Filter again, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and you're going to put it on 3. Hit OK. And that kind of, you know, just softens up the rough edges around here. Now what you want to do is create, no, or you don't create a layer yet. Now what you want to do after you did that, you want to go to Filter, Render Clouds. No, you don't. I'm sorry, I think I'm like losing it right now. You want to make sure that this lock thing is on right here. Okay, right where the layers are, and I think this should work. Clouds. Yep, that's what you have to do. You have to make sure right here, before you do the clouds, it says where it says lock. You want to choose the first option that's locking the transparent pixels. So you're going to get the smoke effect, like cloud smoke look. Okay, now what you want to do from here is hit Control T on your keyboard. Now that box is going to come up. You want to right click. You want to hit Distort. What you're going to do is take these corner boxes right here, move these in, in, make sure the line is straight. Do it to about. That's good. And on the bottom, you want to take the corner ones and just expand it a little bit. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Now, what you want to do is right click. Now, you want to get out of that actually. You want to hit enter. And now this is when we do the top of the spotlight effect. You want to go to create new layer. So you're going to have two layers now. And this layer you're going to go to the marquee, marquee tool and click, select the round one, which is the elliptical tool. And you're going to make a round circle about there. Hit control delete on your keyboard. You want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you want to keep it on three. And then you want to right click on the layer 2 and go to blending options. You're going to select outer glow. You're going to make the color white. Okay. And then you want to see where it says size right here. You want to bring it up to about 22. Hit OK. Now, you want to deselect. No, you don't. You want to keep it selected. Hit Control T. Actually, before you hit Control T, you want to zoom in so you can just get a better look at what you're doing. Okay, now hit Control T while it's selected. 
right click in that box, hit warp. And how about a grid like this? Now this middle line right here. Well, actually in between now, that middle line is fine. Drag it up a little bit. It's right about there, that should be good. Okay, you want to hit enter. And then you want to deselect from that. And what you want to do is take your eraser tool. And you're just going to erase right in here. And kind of go around. It's going to give it more of a spotlight effect. Like it's coming out of somewhere. It's not perfect, but the more practice you get, it'll look better. Now I'll zoom back out. And it kind of looks like a spotlight effect. If you want to erase in here a little bit, you can to make it look better. Hmm. Zoom in one more time. I kind of want it to be like a curve, so it looks like it's coming out like... Yeah, I kind of like that effect. Okay, zoom out. And that is how you get a spotlight effect. Um, now you want to merge everything, merge down. Now. You merge down the layer 2 into the layer 1. Now your spotlight is done. But let's say you wanted to add it to a photo to make it look like your band is playing. Once you merge down layer 2, you're going to be able to move this. It's all done. And there's your spotlight. So what you do is, like, you know, if you want to copy it or whatever and add it onto a picture, you can. But if not, and you just want that spotlight effect, you just hit merge down. And that is that. This one was a little bit harder if you're not familiar with Photoshop CS4, um, but it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, if you want to add me on my MySpace, if you have any questions at all, just add me, comment me. Um, I will give you my link. I also do photo edits, so if you're interested, just add me and look at the edits I've done. I have a whole album for that. Um, yep. There's my link, and thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped.